Now this here is my favorite offhand practice target. It's nothing more than a bunch of circles. You could make them just with a compass, a couple of paint cans, whatever you want. It's graduated from largest to smallest. Now you see I've got five in a row down here from when I'm feeling really happy. I can just pretend I'm hitting five different targets at a time. Now all you're going to do, doesn't matter if you're using a scope, if you're using iron sights, a red dot, you're just going to start with the target, work on getting that hold into the target. There's two different ways I do this. One is to see if I can hold inside that target to the count of five. And the other one is if I can just try to pull back, dry fire that trigger inside of each target. Now I'm not trying to get dead center. My goal is only to be able to hold within this circle. All right, why am I only trying to hold within the circle in that dry fire hold drill? Well, the way that I shoot metallic silhouette or any kind of shooting, it doesn't matter if I'm in IDPA or if I'm in three gun. It may not be the way everybody else does it. A lot of people will try to pass through shoot, which is wait for their target crosshairs uh, or their iron sights, whatever they're using, to pass through the target and try to time that pull of the trigger correctly when you're inside the target. I don't shoot that way. It's not the way I was trained. Uh, what I do is I will try to get to myself to come to a point where I can slow down and be holding inside the target. If I'm, out, if I'm wobbling out here, I'm not pulling the trigger. I'm not pulling that trigger until I exhale and I'm inside the target and then I'm pulling the trigger. It's just the way I was taught. It's not the fastest way. It doesn't always work for three gun and ID, IDPA. It can come out really bad. Uh, I don't really shoot for time. I shoot so I'm familiar with all my guns and how to use them. Uh, but for silhouette, I'm going to hold inside that target and hit it. 